Urban and peri-urban agriculture can play small but significant role in increasing carbon stocks and lowering land surface temperatures in urban areas. Cities' expenses for adapting to climate change can be decreased by encouraging urban and peri-urban agriculture as it promotes local resilience and sustainability. Two entomologists, Rajendra Hegde and Vishwanath Kadur, established Garden City Farmers Trust in 2000. 2011, a group that works to promote urban agriculture in Bangalore. The IPCC emphasized the necessity and urgency of producing GHG emissions and the need to adjust the urban system to unfavorable effects through strategies that boost resilience. Efforts of Garden City Farmers Trust resulted in enhanced biomass of Bangalore, which has the potential to store at least 1.3 lakh tons of CO2. UPA also reduces travel emissions because trucks and freight vehicles travel hundreds of kilometers to transport produce from distant rural areas and this process is carbon intensive. However, in India, pressure on peri-urban agriculture is extremely high. Building homes and apartments is significantly more profitable for landowners than farming due to high land costs. Additional difficulties include low yield brought on by soil and groundwater degradation as well as diminishing water supplies. Rising temperatures and fluctuating rainfall will also cause a drop in the output of several crops. A policy should be created to help farmers switch from crops whose yield would decrease owing to warming temperatures to ones whose yield will either remain stable or rise.